Oh, no, 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 no. Oh. The road's caving in. Hold on. Holy. Stay back, stay back. Twenty-two million people woke up this morning completely unaware that the ground beneath them is breaking apart. Not in decades from now, not in years. Right now, as you listen to these words, massive sections of Florida's ocean floor are collapsing into darkness, and scientists just issued their most severe warning in modern history. Three weeks ago, monitoring stations along Florida's Atlantic coast detected something that shouldn't exist. Sonar readings showed massive holes suddenly appearing on the seafloor, some plunging over 400 feet straight down. These weren't gradual formations that took centuries to develop. They appeared overnight, their edges sharp and fresh, as if something had simply given way beneath the ocean. But here's where it gets truly terrifying. These holes are releasing massive plumes of methane gas, so enormous they're visible from space. The gas readings spiked so dramatically that researchers spent days checking their equipment convinced the instruments had malfunctioned. They hadn't. What they were seeing was real, and it was happening faster than anyone thought possible. The United States Geological Survey responded with something rarely seen, a red alert. Not an advisory, not a warning, but their highest level emergency classification. This designation is reserved for immediate geological threats that pose danger to human life. The last time such an alert was issued for this type of event was decades ago, and the situation then was nowhere near this severe. What makes this crisis unique is the speed of deterioration. Florida's continental shelf, the underwater foundation that has supported the coastline for thousands of years, isn't just eroding, it's collapsing in real time. The Miami Terrace and Florida Escarpment, massive underwater formations that have remained stable since before recorded history, are now sinking faster than ever documented. The numbers are staggering. Multiple stretches of coastline are losing ground so rapidly that changes previously measured in centuries are now happening in months. Seismic sensors, installed in a region that rarely experiences earthquakes, are registering constant tremors. The Earth itself is groaning under pressures that geologists are struggling to understand. Florida sits atop a foundation unlike anywhere else in America. The entire state rests on limestone, a porous rock riddled with underground rivers and hidden caverns. This Swiss cheese-like structure has always made Florida vulnerable to sinkholes, but what's happening now goes far beyond normal geological activity. The methane eruptions indicate something much deeper and more dangerous is occurring. Each gas plume that escapes creates a domino effect. The methane destabilizes surrounding sediment, weakens the seafloor structure, and creates pathways for more gas to escape. It's a feedback loop of destruction that's accelerating with each passing day. Sonar mapping reveals expanding cracks spreading across the continental shelf like a spiderweb of failure. These fissures weren't there six months ago. They're new, they're growing, and they're multiplying. Computer models paint a nightmare scenario. If even a small section of the continental shelf experiences sudden catastrophic failure, it could generate waves similar to a tsunami. These walls of water would reach Florida's densely populated coastline in less than one hour, far too quickly for effective evacuation of millions of residents. The human cost of this unfolding disaster cannot be overstated. Miami-Dade County alone houses nearly three million people. Families living in coastal communities describe hearing strange sounds at night. Not quite a bang, not quite a rumble, but something far more unsettling. It's the sound of the earth giving way beneath them, of support structures that have existed for millennia suddenly failing. Already residents are being displaced. Sinkholes that once appeared occasionally now open with alarming frequency. What used to be isolated incidents have become part of a larger pattern of geological failure that threatens entire communities. Schools, hospitals, retirement homes all sit atop ground that can no longer be trusted to remain stable. The threat extends beyond residential areas. Kennedy Space Center, America's gateway to space, faces immediate danger. A critical 4.7-mile segment shows severe erosion that endangers spacecraft facilities, launch pads, and vital infrastructure. The very location from which humanity reaches for the stars could be swallowed by geological instability. The Everglades National Park and Florida Keys confront potential large-scale submersion, 
These aren't just tourist destinations, they're irreplaceable ecosystems that support countless species found nowhere else on Earth. Native American archaeological sites, cultural treasures that have survived thousands of years, are disappearing as the ground beneath them fails. Florida's economy, built on the promise of coastal paradise, teeters on the edge of collapse. The tourism industry alone generates over $80 billion annually from coral reef activities. Every hotel, every restaurant, every business that depends on Florida's coastline now faces an existential threat from forces beyond human control. Scientists choosing their words carefully cannot hide their alarm. When researchers use terms like unprecedented and unexpected, they're acknowledging that their years of training and experience offer little guidance for current conditions. The careful language of scientific papers barely conceals the underlying message. This is beyond anything they've prepared for. Dr. Harold Wanless from the University of Miami, a leading expert on sea level rise, admits that even his worst case projections didn't account for the continental shelf actively collapsing. Florida Department of Environmental Protection geologist Eric Shaw acknowledges that while sinkholes are common in Florida, the current scale and speed exceed all historical patterns. The methane plumes particularly worry researchers. These gas emissions don't match any known geological patterns for the Atlantic margin. They're appearing where they shouldn't exist, growing where they should be shrinking, and accelerating when they should be stabilizing. One scientist described them as creating underwater havens with deep drops and big openings, technical language that barely masks the reality of massive voids opening in the ocean floor. The timeline of this crisis reveals its terrifying acceleration. Three months ago, monitoring stations detected minor anomalies, reading slightly outside normal ranges but nothing immediately alarming. Two months ago, those anomalies doubled in both intensity and frequency. Last month, they doubled again. The pattern isn't linear, it's exponential. What began as occasional methane releases has evolved into sustained eruptions across multiple coastal zones. Seismic activity follows the same troubling progression, initial tremors barely registered on monitoring equipment. Now they're strong enough to trigger automatic emergency alerts, with frequency increasing not yearly or monthly, but weekly. Satellite imagery captures changes happening at speeds that defy geological norms. New sinkholes appear between monitoring cycles. Areas that showed no instability one week display massive fractures the next. The continental shelf isn't following the gradual timeline of geological change measured in millennia. It's collapsing at speeds visible to human observation. The USGS Red Alert itself represents a critical escalation. These alerts aren't issued for theoretical future risks or academic concerns. They're reserved for active, immediate dangers requiring emergency response. The activation of this highest warning level indicates authorities believe the situation has moved beyond monitoring into active crisis management. Historical context makes current events even more alarming. The last time geological readings showed similar patterns was during the formation of the Bahama Banks, a process that reshaped the entire Caribbean region. But that transformation took millions of years. Current changes mirror those ancient patterns but compressed into months rather than millennia, creating instability without precedent in recorded history. Emergency preparations tell their own story. Federal resources remain on standby. FEMA units and National Guard forces are positioned for potential humanitarian operations. Such mobilization doesn't occur for minor geological anomalies. It indicates authorities are preparing for scenarios they hope never materialize while trying to prevent public panic. Research vessels typically reserved for hurricane monitoring now patrol Florida's coast. Monitoring equipment designed for volcanic regions tracks every tremor, every methane release, every new fracture. The level of surveillance suggests scientists believe they're witnessing something that could reshape coastal geology entirely. Real-time forecasting now employs physics-based models originally developed for hurricane tracking, adapted for geological emergencies. The scientific community has mobilized resources typically reserved for major natural disasters, indicating they view the current situation as potentially catastrophic. The best-case scenario offers little comfort. Even if the collapse stabilizes immediately, damage already done has created permanent instability. Methane emissions will likely continue for years, gradually weakening the seafloor until secondary collapses become inevitable. The feedback loop of destruction has already begun its cycle. More likely, current patterns of acceleration will continue.
computer models suggest that if trends persist, major portions of the continental shelf could fail catastrophically within months. Such failure would trigger massive waves reaching the coast too quickly for evacuation, potentially creating the largest geological disaster in American history. The worst-case scenario is almost too terrible to contemplate. Complete continental shelf failure could destabilize Florida's entire coastline, making vast areas permanently uninhabitable. Millions would face immediate evacuation with no timeline for safe return. The methane release pattern suggests this isn't just possible, it's becoming increasingly probable. International observers watch Florida as a preview of potential disasters elsewhere. Similar limestone foundations support coastal populations globally. What happens here could foreshadow catastrophes worldwide, making this crisis a warning for all of humanity. As of this moment, the instability shows no signs of slowing. New methane plumes continue appearing. Seismic activity increases daily. The USGS Red Alert remains active because the threat remains active and growing. Scientists cannot predict when or if the geological systems will stabilize. This isn't a crisis with a clear resolution. Unlike hurricanes that pass or earthquakes that end, geological instability can persist indefinitely. The forces reshaping Florida's foundation operate on scales that dwarf human planning capabilities. Each new data point could signal stabilization or herald catastrophic failure that reshapes America's coastline forever. What started as unusual readings has evolved into an emergency with no end in sight. 22 million people continue their daily lives above a foundation that's actively failing. The monitoring continues around the clock because no one knows what tomorrow will bring. The red alert isn't going away, the threat isn't diminishing, and the next update could change everything. Right now, beneath the feet of millions, the Earth moves in ways never before recorded. The crisis is far from over, it may just be beginning. That's it for today, folks. See you in the next video.